So I grew up in a household where the importance of academics was always stressed. And my mom was a registered nurse and my older sister majored in electrical engineering. So I always had these influences of women in STEM from a really early age. In high school, I had a really great chemistry teacher. He made learning such a complex subject really fun, and I was good at it. My first job ever at 16 was for NASA at Kennedy Space Center in high school in an apprenticeship program. So I worked in master planning with civil engineers and also in an environmental chemistry lab with chemists. And this was my first glimpse into the possibilities of working in STEM. So I think Women's History Month is so important because it's vital to have women to look up to. Um, if you see people that look like you in positions that you would like to be in, it truly is inspirational and gives you the motivation to keep moving forward to accomplish that goal. My sister is 10 years older than me, so she was always my biggest influence growing up. Um, she majored in electrical engineering, so that was my first example of what a woman in STEM could be, and especially a woman of color in STEM. And so just having that example and being able to see what she was able to accomplish, she's one of my biggest inspirations. The science industry is largely male dominated, and that's why it's so unique to work here in the Water Quality Lab, where we're such a diverse team, not only male and female, but ethnic backgrounds and skill sets, and I think it's really valuable. Choosing a path into the world of STEM can be very isolating if you don't see examples of, of what that can be. So for me, I'm really proud to be able to represent women and women of color and show that you can accomplish whatever you want to within this industry and this world.